morning guys kelly from mystical madness healing i just did a uh, reading for taurus virgo and capricorn this one is going to be for libra i've been shuffling um i've had the a lot of colorful cards come out today so that's a good thing um, a lot of oranges and um, reds could be significant for you libra um or could be just the time to start wearing that, maybe spice it up a little bit. Okay, Libra. Today is June 11, and I have prayed and meditated over these cards and shuffled them. And well, let's get going here, Libra. Spirit, what does Libra need to hear? That one? Okay, that one was like. The hermit. Okay, so this could you or somebody you're dealing with or thinking about could be in hermit mode, which is um there's always a reason you got into this mode. You know, when you get in you're you're contemplating, you're sitting there uh weighing your options, looking at things. Um but when you're in hermit mode, that's you know, obviously it's important enough for you to go and, and uh, self-reflect and, you know, figure things out. You've got the guidance in the background there kind of floating on air. Um, that's how I felt when I was stuck. I've been stuck. I was stuck for for several months, and that's, um, my family was surprised that I wasn't around because, you know, I don't do that ever. And it was the first time, but it was so rewarding what I learned. You learn in hermit mode, you know, whether you want to or not, you got to be with yourself. And, you know, it's um, for me, it ended up making me look at a lot of stuff I didn't want to. I don't know why I'm sharing this, but maybe it'll help somebody. Uh, and when you take a look at your emotions and process them, uh, which I never did. I buried them. You, it, it is so freeing. So Libra, you or somebody is in hermit mode. This is this could be a good thing. Well, it is a good thing, <laughs> but the outcome could be could be a good thing. Okay, spare. Please clar clarify the hermit for Libra. What is this hermit card for Libra? What is the best message that Libra needs to hear? Spirit, can you please give me a message for Libra? Hangman. <laughs> oh my god. The hurt then the hangman. <laughs> the hangman is stuck kind of you know uh just stuck in a mindset no movement you got the guidance there but you're just kind of in hermit mode hangman getting a new perspective these two cards together you know that you or your partner have been you know, definitely uh, taking a look at things. Wow. Those two together, huh? Let's see if I could see something that might. Oh, there's a two on that, which is uh, divine, and a one on the hermit. So, those are both divinely guided. Okay. Let's see. This is very interesting. Interested, uh, blah, 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 Libra. <laughs> very interesting. Let's see. Spirit, can you please clarify the hermit and the hangman for Libra? Okay. Well, you will probably. This was probably in the past, um, because Nine of Swords is being stuck in your head, which is. <laughs> 
the same as the hangman and the hermit, well, you know what I mean? Um, but the Nine of Swords is like mental, uh, it's, it, it's rough. It's rough to be in the Nine of Swords, uh, but you can get out of your head. You can get unstuck. And you probably have because you got the Six of Wands following the Nine of Swords. This is, um, um, stardom. Like, uh, you did something here. Maybe this is what, what you were doing too when you were in hermit mode healing. You got all that, uh, beautiful light coming through. Well, it's, it's looking a lot better here, Libra. The Six of Wands is action. <clears throat> Could have, a. Uh, a platform um, could be getting your recognition. All right, let's see what spirit has to say here, Libra. Where's this reading going? The lovers. Okay. So still, I don't know if it's you or your partner. That could have been, you know, stuck in, in, and in their head. Either way, you got the lovers here. Making a decision. Uh, that's the decision card. Mm -hmm. And you can, and you already know, because you're the Hierophant. You're the Hierophant. This is a Taurus card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You could have Taurus in your chart, Libra, or vice versa. You could be cross watching for a Taurus, um, or you could just be all knowing Hierophant. That's a religious card, also. Um, it, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Hierophant with the lovers sometimes is. Could be a divorce. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going here. There are not the only bad card, and it's not even bad, is the nine of swords here. So don't that was just one perspective. It doesn't have to be uh, a past relationship. I'm just Guessing that because you were in Herman mode and stuck and in your head here, but then you got a, a creative project of some sort, and all of a sudden the lovers card pops up. <laughs> all right. Oh my god. All right. I want to shuffle, but. I gotta take this Ten of Pentacles after the higher vent because that's a like an amazing card. So maybe this this is someone coming in for you. Alright. Oh, yep. Got a page of swords, new new idea. Um this could be a message about about this lovers. Alright, I gotta keep going. Oh, yeah. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Equal give and take here. Uh, reciprocity. Balance. Um, that's what I think it, it looks like. Now, not so much a di the divorce. Doesn't have to be a divorce. Higher friends of marriage card in the lovers, lovers is a decision. So that's why I feel like people say it could be a divorce card because you're like making a decision. Are you moving forward? Are you, you know, um, with the with this and with getting the Ten of Pentacles, there's definitely something coming in. A, a great offer. Ten of Pentacles is complete abundance. There's children. There's love. There's, again, a lot of red and orange in these cards. Look at the... And those are bright, vibrant colors. Okay, you got a page of swords. That's a new message with of an idea. So maybe your person was 
stuck in hermit mode, or you were in hangman mode, getting a new perspective on this relationship, and in that case, you're the hierophant, so, okay, this is divinely guided, so there's really, it's, it's already written in the story, so you got the Ten of Pentacles coming in, Page of Swords is a, a message, but it's also a new passion project, and that's what the Six of Wands is, too. So this could be, you may be working together with your partner. That That's what it's a, sounding like to me, because the Six of Pentacles is uh, equal, give and take, and, and balance, and... All right, I got to clarify that's Six of Pentacles. Let's clarify that. Uh, Spirit, is this, am I correct on the lovers? Does, does Libra have someone coming in? I mean, you have to because you got the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of, Pentacles are money, though, but there's the Ten of Pentacles is like all happiness. It's like it's a lot of happiness, too. All right, Spirit, please clarify this. Ten of Pentacles. Is this a project for Libra? Please clarify, Spirit. Please give me another. There we go. Oh, now you get the Page of Pentacles. Oh, it's definitely something. Uh, I don't I mean something, but I, again, I think it's like, a new idea. Uh, there's a there's a, a message. Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. There's a message of some kind of job or love and money together. Let's see. Up oh, now you get the Queen of Pentacles. It's always good to get the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. All right, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Nice, nice. Spirit, please clarify. Please help me end this reading for Libra with the best message. Is somebody coming in? Whatever this is, relationship or project, it is good. Six of Wands and Page of Swords, book in her hand, new ideas, under lights, Ten of Pentacles. These are all good cards. Lovers, Hierophant. All right. Spirit, please clarify this Queen of Pentacles for Libra. What else do I need to hear in this reading? <laughs> Libra, you already know. You already know what's coming. You're the High Priestess. Hierophant and the High Priestess together. Wow. Okay. All right. Spirit, please clarify the High Priestess for Libra. You already know. You already know when you can change things. You can change things because you're with the advice and the guidance from spirit as the Ace of Pentacles falls to the ground upright. Definitely some kind of new opportunity in love project, love and money. Ace of Pentacles, you got, it, this is, divinely guided so you got to be patient because it, it's not going to be in your time it's going to be it's already written in the in the books or in the stone whatever they say it's already written um libra this this is very interesting i these are all good you don't have really any negative cards at all except for the nine of swords and that's probably you being stuck in your head trying to figure out what you're going to do with this decision with the lovers. Libra, hope this helps. High Priestess, have a good one. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to. Thank you.